All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we're gonna be showcasing the newest free to play unit on global, the Fizz Androids 14 and 15. And I'm sure you guys already saw the title, so you probably know what I'm about to say, but I seriously mean it. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I claim that this unit has the most useful passive in the entire game. Now, unfortunately, it's a little bit niche. It's a little bit um, restrictive in the sense that you can only get the passive to go off. You can only take advantage of it on very specific teams like the one we're running today. But when you can get the passive going, it is super, super clutch and will probably save your butt on a ton of events in this game like Super Battle Road, Legendary Goku event, and so on and so forth. All right, so before we jump into the gameplay, let's take a quick look at the details for this unit for anybody that doesn't know. Starting with their leader skill, they give target Goku category units key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 50%. Their super attack causes supreme damage and lowers the enemy's defense, and their passive is attack and defense plus 70% plus an additional attack and defense plus 70% and foresees enemy super attack for the rest of the battle when your team has Android 13 attacking in the same turn and then also reduces damage received by 30% and all allies attack and defense plus 30% when your team has Fusion Android 13 attacking in the same turn. So there's a lot to take in there. Essentially, they get 70% attack and defense off the bat, right, with no restrictions. And then if you have an Android 13 attacking in the same turn, that's an additional 70% attack and defense. So now we're up to 140% attack and defense. But the more important part of that passive is that if you do that once, right, just for one turn, you have the Android 13 attacking in the same turn as the androids 14 and 15, then for the rest of the battle, even when they're not on rotation, you will foresee super attacks. You know exactly where their super attacks are coming and know where to place your units to tank those super attacks. So that's why I say this unit probably has the most useful passive because that like ability is invaluable, man. It is so, so important on harder events like this and Super Battle Road. And on top of that, they're also a support, right? They also give attack and defense plus 30% for your rotation. So they just do everything, man. Such a underrated unit, such a good unit in my opinion. And a uh, big shout out actually to my boy, uh, Dark Warrior on the Discord because he actually brought my attention to just how good this unit was. Cause I was under the impression, and I think a lot of people were before maybe they saw this video, that uh, their ability, the foreseeing super attack ability was only when they were on rotation. And you know, when they're off rotation, just like the STR Jace, then you'll lose that ability until they come back on rotation. But apparently, and once again, shout out to Dark Warrior for letting me know this. Um, even if they're not on rotation after that first attack, after that first turn with Android 13, you will be able to, able to see all the super attacks that are coming for the rest of the fight. So that is really crazy to me. That is really, really useful. Like I said, man, just a great passive and then the support and then the damage reduction too. So uh, just the overall amazing free to play unit in my opinion. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, we have the two androids on rotation now, and uh, you can see those little like uh, clear circles or gray circles around Goku, which signifies that these are two normal attacks, no super attacks. If it's a super attack, it's gonna be a red circle. All right, so here we go. First turn, we have 78,650 defense and uh, 159,000 attacks. So not too bad, not too bad, but keep in mind, they're not here for the damage, even though I'm sure they can still do some damage. Here we go. Let's see what this Android 13 or 14 and 15 can do damage wise offensively. Okay, so over a million. That's not bad. That's not bad. So 140% attack and defense. And we're critting for 900k with the uh, attack reduction, the lowering attack as well for the enemy. So uh, pretty good first turn right there. Pretty good first turn right there. And as you can see, what did I tell you? After that first initial turn, you will be able to foresee all super attacks for the rest of the fight, even when they're not on rotation, man. That's crazy to me because we've had other units in this game. I think there's at least two other ones. I can't think of a third, but there's at least the uh, STR Jace from the free to play Ginyu Force, as well as the 
Uh, what's the other one? Oh, uh, AGL Super Vegito, the Extreme Z Awakening that's coming to Global soon in a couple days. Um, he also has that ability, but for Jace, he loses it once he goes off rotation. And for the AGL Super Vegito, it's only, I believe, when he's on rotation as well. And also, it's only when you're below, I think, 40% HP. So very restrictive there. Super, super hard to actually get off. But for these guys, you just have to have that one turn with uh, 14 and 15, with, with uh, 13, and then you're good to go. So here we go. Uh, I put the cell, the incel, because we actually got the dodge off there. But I put the incel in the middle on the second slot because I knew that super attack was coming. And he obviously is the best tank on this team right now. Uh, at least on this rotation. Actually on this team probably, right? He's the best best tank on the team and I knew to put him there because I knew the super attack was coming. So think about the you know utility on like super battle road, especially the new super battle road, the uh, extreme super battle. Oh actually, that's type restricted. Like, that's like monotype only, right? So maybe not at the moment, but in the future when we get like category extreme super battle road and stuff like that, um, I could see this ability, the two, like the Android 14 and 15 and 13 together combined, um, getting the ability to see all super attacks incoming will be so, so clutch, will probably help a lot of people beat these events. And if you guys are struggling with, uh, with Android Super Battle Road, which I mean, it's actually one of the easier ones in my opinion because there's so many good tanks. But let's say you're struggling with that or you're struggling with um, any other event in the game that has both of these androids um, or allows you to use both of these androids, then give them a shot. Give them a shot, see how it goes. And I can guarantee you it's gonna help you at least a little bit because you'll know where to put your tank. So here, for example, we got the super attack coming in the first slot and then we put the incel there. So incel is really gonna tank this super, super well. He's gonna take very little damage. Let's see what it is if we, if we don't dodge again, that is. But here's the super and it's gonna hit us for 24K. There you go, no problem. But let's say I put the, the fizz cell there. If I didn't know the super attack was gonna be there, then I would have taken probably at least over 100K, maybe 150K, something like that. So uh, yeah, I can't, I can't speak enough about just how freaking crazy useful that passive is, man. I did not know, I'll be honest. I'll be honest, I did not know that it was gonna be for all rotations. I just thought it was gonna be like, yo, Jace, you know, it's a cool ability, but once you're off rotation, then you can't foresee super attack, so the other rotation is still kind of, it could, be, could still be kind of rough, right? But apparently that's not the case. Apparently that's not the case, which is awesome. So we got the Fusion Android 13. Uh, transformation now and uh, now the final part of this androids passive will also activate with the additional attack and defense plus 30 percent um yeah exactly for all allies so the support passive as well as the damage reduction by 30 percent so now the full passive is activated we get everything you see here super super long but uh really really good and that came out kind of weird ignore that okay so now we should see a little bit more damage and possibly some decent tanking as well because we have uh, 69,000 defense. Okay, so not as high as I thought it would be, but I don't think it really matters here because we have the damage reduction, but also we're probably gonna kill Goku here. We're probably gonna kill Goku here. Maybe? With a crit? Oh no, crit, okay. But the additional, okay, we, we got the additional super. So two 1.1 mil supers there, and this should do it. There we go, okay. So uh, I think we're gonna do one more round, guys. So we're, gonna just, we're just gonna get through the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and then that's where I'm gonna call this, uh, this video, because there's not really much else to see about them. They're gonna do about the same damage every single turn, and uh, we're gonna continue to be able to foresee super attacks. We're gonna continue to uh, support the rotation, continue to get that damage reduction, all that good stuff. Continue to lower attack, actually, which can also be really useful. <clears throat> excuse me, which can also be super useful um, on events where the enemy hits really hard, right? So for example, if you guys are struggling, <clears throat> man, I don't know what's going on with my voice right now. If you guys are struggling with the STR, not STR, he's tech this time, I think. Tech Jiren from Battlefield, or when next time Jiren comes back, you have some trouble with him, try bringing this android because um, they're gonna be able to lower Jiren's attack, right? And essentially the strategy when fighting Jiren in Battlefield is to lower his attack as much as possible, bring as many attack lowers, 
lowerers attack lowering units as possible to uh, try to you know just make him hit a little bit less or do a little bit less damage to you hit a little bit less hard and um, that's what worked for me I was struggling a little bit and then I brought a lot of like attack decreasers and what's the what's the term to call them I don't even know just attack lowering units I guess and uh, that's what got me through so there you go guys this is the last rotation I think of the video because I'm pretty sure um, our Android 13 here will do the job possibly there is that super in the middle as you guys saw the red circle um, which could hurt a bit but I think Android 13 is pretty damn tanky so we should be okay here all right so we lower his attack and then additional as well if you guys didn't notice in the beginning I gave them 14 additional and 12 attack or sorry 12 crit because I want them to lower attack as much as, much as possible while still getting some crits so here we go okay 2 million 2 million attack for Android 13 Yo, as I've said many times I'm not excited for the character I'm not excited for the unit but I did actually want him just because he's actually a really good unit Okay, so that is the video, my friends. I'm going to leave this right now because there's really no point in me clearing it. Um, even though I think, actually, we probably could. I just don't really see a point because we came here to showcase the Android 14 and 15 and uh, explain to you guys why I, I say they have probably the most useful passive in the game. Um, not only the damage reduction, not only the attack and defense support, um, but especially the ability to foresee super attacks. It's just crazy. And for all rotations, guys, it's for all rotations, not just the one rotation or the rotations that they're on. Literally get that one turn with 13, 14, and 15, and then you're good for the rest of the fight, which is just crazy to me. So there you go. Fizz, Android, 14, and 15. You guys are sleeping on this unit. Stop sleeping. Wake up. Go farm them. It's a super fast grind, too. It only took me about... 20 minutes I think to get all the the dupes and the metals to awaken them and of course the orbs you have to use actual orbs they don't have their own free orbs so that's gonna hurt a little bit but um, I think definitely a unit worthy of your orbs worthy of your time investment so go get them done and uh, you'll thank me for it all right so that is the video today guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys learned something about this in my opinion very underrated free to play unit and as always if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger. Uppercut Media, signing out.